Telephone companies use HDSL to provide DS1 service to customers. This connects to a customer premise equipment device called a smart jack at your end of the circuit. It connects using either two or four wires and normally you'll see a H2TUR or H4TUR card in the smart jack at your location. Those two wires leave your building, go out on the telephone poles, and come into a central office. And big cables like these, usually a hundred or more cable pairs in each of these cables. This will be tied to a wiring block with protection modules that keep voltage spikes from entering the telephone company's equipment. You see it comes in on the back of these wiring blocks and through the protection module to the front side of the wiring block where we wire a jumper to another wiring block where there is a, a cable uh, 28 to uh, 46, 56 uh, pair wiring block uh, going to the um, I'm not sure how to put it but goes over to a wiring block such as this and from here it goes to the piece of equipment that provides your HDSL signal uh, walk upstairs here and show you what that looks like. In the central office, this is going to be um, an H2TUC or H4TUC card. see the difference here. The H2 TUCs only have one DSL light on them, whereas the H4 TUCs have two. It's still the same uh, data rate. It's still going to be 1.54 meg regardless of whether it's a two wire or four wire circuit. The main difference is the Four wire circuits are designed to enable the use of a repeater if you're further away. Thinking it's 5,000 feet is about the furthest distance you can use a two wire card. Um, the four wire cards, at least, I, I know provide about 190 volts negative DC voltage along with 1.54 meg uh, data rate. Now, that explains how it gets from your office to our central office, but how does it get from here to where you want it to go? Say, uh, it's going to a, a distant city or just going across town. This is kind of a termination point here. And from here, it's wired off the back of these shelves over to something we call a DSX panel. Now, once it reaches this DSX panel, it's once again a low voltage DS1 signal. Still the same data rate, but uh, much lower voltage, so I can actually touch these pins and not get shocked. You wouldn't want to do that with a HDSL circuit. It would definitely bite you. Um, so okay, each of those cards wires to one of these DSX ports. Uh, you can either use Bantam cables to plug into the front of these uh, for a temporary connection or testing, or you can use a 
wire wrapped jumper that would go from either one HDSL shelf to another HDSL shelf or from an HDSL shelf to a uh, multiplexer um, which then would put that channel over a DS3 and then possibly even an OC3, OC48, OC192, whatever uh, type of equipment we use to get between offices. Um, just depends on how big an office you're coming into and how big of an office you're going to. Uh, if you're going within the same city, you'd probably just be going between two HDSL shelves directly without going over any larger transport. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to add information, uh, possibly even do some research. But that's it for now.